And now on to the crystal grid. Gather your tools. You will need Sage or Palo Santo, matches or lighter, crystals as follows. Choose one crystal for each source or concentrate on the photo of the grid for manifestation work. Venus, choose one of the following, quartz, diamond, Herkimer, or white topaz. You can choose one crystal from this list and you can also use jewelry if guided to do so. Think pendants, bracelets, earrings, rings, necklaces. Uranus, labradorite, angelite, azurite, spirit quartz. Scorpio, malachite, smoky quartz, black tourmaline, or amethyst. Taurus, pyrite, green jade, carnelian, or turquoise. Moon, moonstone, milky quartz, selenite, or hematite. Time to clear and cleanse. Use the Palo Santo or sage to clear each crystal used in the grid. Light the Palo Santo or sage and allow the flame to bring forward smoke. Gently smudge around each crystal or jewelry with intentions to clear and release negativity. If you're going to print a picture of the grid, you do not have to smudge it. Here is the basic grid formation. You want to choose stones to represent each galactic energy. If you do not have a lot of stones, don't worry. You can go with what you're guided to use or simply use the photo of the grid I've created as your focus. Use this map as a guideline to set up your grid. First, you will start with Taurus on top. You'll move to Venus to the right, Scorpio on the bottom, to the left, Uranus, and then the moon position will go forward in the center. This is for the basic, basic grid. You will only need five stones. I have chosen turquoise for Taurus. Turquoise is a very calming energy to me. Clear quartz for Venus. Quartz always amplifies things, brings forward purity and strength. It's also a great activating stone. Amethyst for Scorpio for um, calming of emotion as well as intensifying intuition. And azurite for Uranus because Azurite really, really pushes us forward on the path. It's a beautiful stone. I have also chosen a pendant, which is moonstone, which I'm putting in the moon position in the center of the grid. So for my basic grid, I'm using the stones mentioned above, as well as moonstone to represent the moon. Remember, you may add jewelry to your grid if you are guided to do so. And I like that option because then you know, it's not always comfortable, although I've been doing it for like 30 years, um, to, you know, to carry stones in your pocket or tuck them inside your bra. Uh, but when you can wear them after they've been activated in a grid, it just brings a whole different type of vibe. I also worked with an advanced grid. I was guided to use pieces of moonstone and amethyst to amplify the energies of the basic grid. To me, this gives an additional activation to the vibe of the entire crystal grid. You can substitute clear or rose quartz within the same formation. You can see the amethyst is surrounding the moonstone and then the moonstone connects the other four main stones in the grid. Step one, you wanna create the grid or use a photo of mine. You can choose the basic or the advanced grid, whatever you're guided to use. Step two, you wanna place both of your hands over the grid or the photo and connect with the energy. Begin to create positive thoughts and visions in your mind of what you wish to bring into your life. Abundance of good health and finances, more love, love of self, knowledge of self-worth, greater connection to spirit, etc. Allow these thoughts to form and flow this energy into the grid. Do this until you feel complete. It usually takes about three to five minutes. Step three, take one of the stones from the grid 
or just take the photo outside into the moonlight. If you have a cloudy night sky, that's okay. Set your intention to connect with the moon's energy. Holding that stone or the photo over your heart, begin to form I am statements of what you will manifest. Example, I am healthy. I am loved. I am important to myself and others. I am abundant. I am powerful, etc. Continue this process until you feel complete. Step four. Now you've imprinted this vibration on the stone or the photo. Keep it close by when you meditate. Place it on your altar or carry it in your pocket. If you've chosen a piece of jewelry, wear it. This will assist you to manifest what you desire. Keep the stone, jewelry, or photo nearby for the next 30 days. This lunar eclipse is also about releasing emotional baggage generated over the last six months. And who couldn't stand to release some pandemic energies, right? So by clearing and setting your, your intentions, this will help you to bring in those high vibes and healing you deserve. Have any questions? Just let me know. Reach out. Danielle at intuitiveangels.com. Thanks so much. And I hope you've enjoyed this crystal grid process.